Well, I'm on Facebook Mars. I'm trying something a little new. So bear with me. Uh, I've actually decided I can probably use my smartphone to record and then throw the file on to my computer. I'm sick and tired of this Windows 10 bullshit. Uh, microphones don't want to work with it. They sound crummy. Anyway, here we go. Suck it up, Lawmaker. Lawmaker wants to cut funding for schools coddling students over the Trump election. And here you have the, uh, what do you call it? You know, you have the video here that shows these pictures of women actually crying over this. It's insane. These people are insane. At any rate, now a lawmaker is looking to slash funding for public colleges, spending money on grief counseling and other kid glove treatment for school students upset over last week's presidential election results, telling snowflakes everywhere, suck it up, buttercup. Uh, Republican state... Representative in Iowa, Bobby Coffin says he will introduce a bill, a suck it up buttercup bill in January when the Iowa state legislature resumes in a bid to fight back against campus Connolly. Good. This is a good thing. I support this. Uh, ta the bill would hit taxpayer funded school, state universities with a budget cut for double the amount of money to spend on such election-related activities. Good. Crawford emphasized existing therapy and mental health services are not being targeted. I saw schools with rising, skyrocketing tuition costs, where they're also find, finding money and expenditures for such things as cry rooms. I heard reports of rooms where you can play with Play-Doh, where you can color on books and talk about your feelings, and I was hearing reports of some schools are bringing back, bringing in ponies to be able to get soon through the election. He told Fox and friends on Wednesday, after receiving hundreds of emails of support from across the country, Kaufman has also set up a website where supporters can adopt a Trump protester and get a suck it up buttercup hat for 1776. He says he hopes. Other states pursue similar legislation. I believe I'm the first, he, he told FoxNews.com when asked if other lawmakers are following his example. I wanted to fire a political warning shot. Good. Like I said, I support this 100%. The kind of creative counseling that concerns him extends well beyond Iowa campuses. Kaufman isn't the only one worried about post-election feel-gooders either. University of Michigan Law School canceled a post-election self-care with food and play event this week after an inevitable internet ridicule. The event offered students a chance to work out their Trump anxiety with stress-busting self-care activities, including coloring, you're not going to believe this. Blowing couples, bubbles, sculpting Play-Doh, and positive card making. I can't believe this is going on. McCoffin says that's a waste, waste of money can actually hurt students as it doesn't prepare them for the real world. Good. Thank you. And in life, when the car breaks down and kids get sicker, you have to take a second job to pay your mortgage. You don't get to go to the cry zone. You don't get to hit a pet a pony, you have to deal with it. He's right. At least one student state university has pushed back against Bill, saying it's important for the students to ex be able to express themselves about election results. I think universities are a perfect place to have these types of conversations. Scott Kettleson, director of the University Relations at the University of Northern Iowa, told Bill Doink, Des Moines Register. It's about, it's where people learn. It's about where they share ideas. I don't consider it cobbling. You, sir, are part of the problem. 
and talks. Uh, I encourage protests. I encourage dissent, but I, you don't have to be a constitutional. You don't have a constitutional right to block the constitutional rights of others. Kaufman told Fox and friends. Some lawmakers in other states have taken the opposite approach. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio called for more disruption in the city. What a mayor calling for his own city to be disrupted. That guy's a dirtbag. Anyway, I support this. Thank you very much, Mr. Representative. You are a credit. I appreciate it. Maybe someday I'll get to vote for you for president. We'll have to wait and see on that one. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.